Welcome back everybody to this new video of TechPress. Today, let's check out uh, if you're being bombarded by annoying pop-ups that basically you don't want to see ever again, you are in luck. So I'm going to be showing you how to get started with this process. I'm going to go and open a new tab. Inside this new tab, I wanted to go directly inside Google and let's say that I wanted to add astronomy questions of Quora. And I'm going to look out for here Quora. You might be wondering why am I in Quora? But basically this is because of this. Here into Quora there is a lot, but even a lot of actually places where you can see that there is ads and you don't want to see an actual ad here. That's really annoying. So there I'm going to be showing you that ads can be a really nonsense. So the clutter our screens is low down page loading, is eat up our data, and sometimes even track our online activity. So blocking them not only makes your browsing experience much smoother and faster, but can also enhance your privacy and security. Now, the step number one is to use a free ad blocker extension. So the most effective way to block all the types of ads in Chrome for free is by using a reliable ID blocker extension. These are small programs you would add to your Chrome browser and that works in the background to automatically block ads on websites you visit, including YouTube. So two of the best free options in 2025 are uBlock Origin or Ad Blocked. So here's how you can install them. I'm going to open any tab. You can see that there were ads all over the place. I'm going to try to open this once again. You might see that there are ads appearing in here. So I don't want to see these ads anymore. So for this, I'm going to go back here. And here into Google, I'm going to type Chrome Web Store dot Google dot com. Inside my Chrome Web Store, I'm going to look out for uh, the search bar on the top left typed either uBlock Origin or AD Block. I'm going to type AD Block and here it is. Now here I'm going to go for the option that says add to Chrome and add this extension. A confirmation pop-up will appear so click into add extension as we just did here. Once it has been installed into the upper right corner you can see that here this appears as installed and it automatically will be added directly in through through your extensions. So here I have, for example, a premium plan. In this case, since this one is totally for free, I'm going to just close this app, go for my extensions and choose to pin the AD block. When I click in here, you can see that the AD block has now been enabled. So if I go back here into the website I wanted to you came in and I go once again in, my ad will no longer appear, which I think is going to be really awesome. Now, let's try to configure the ad blocker a little bit more. You can create whitelisting websites if you wanted to support a particular website by allowing an ad. For example, if you appreciate their content, you can usually add it to the whitelist or to the allowed list into the settings. By that, you click in here and look how for pause into my website or to go for options. And here you can just allow more stuff, depending on what you're actually aiming for. You can change an image, you can change the filters, you can change the general elements and the personalization of it. In my case, I think this won't be necessarily, so that will be actually it. Now we can use a Chrome built in pop-up blocker. So Chrome also has a built in pop-up blocker, which offers a basic level of ad blocking. It's specifically for pop-up ads. Here's how you can enable this. Here you can go directly here into the three dots of it. Look out for the privacy and security. And here you go for the site settings. You can scroll down to the pop-ups and redirects. And make sure the toggle is set to don't allow sites to send pop-ups or to use redirects. This happens a lot, for example, if you wanted to install the specific elements. For example, let's go for Camtasia, Fool. And there's a lot of, for example, applications that they do have, for example, this website has a lot of ads right and i no longer see any ad in here that's the reason why i would be using a ad block today and you can see that we, we have this small button and small number that says two that means that the block ad has two on the page and there's a seven in total that we are actually skipping right now so far 
And there you have it, guys. You can keep your AD blocker updated. Really important to ensure your AD blocker continues to work effectively against the ever evolving world of online advertising. It's important to keep it updated. So thankfully, the Chrome extension usually update automatically in the background. So you can check your extensions by typing the Chrome extensions into the address bar and pressing entry. And make sure the developer mode struggle is into the top right of to enable automatic updates for mock extensions. And lastly, what you can do is to use another server that actually helps you to navigate through any kind of websites. And this has an actual a blocker already been installed. For example, there is the Norton. The Norton has its own um, extension here, which is the Privacy Guard. And this one is enabled. The Privacy Guard is going to be helping you for basic blocking ads and trackers allowing on this specific site. You can go for balance blocking or to strict block to block everything for a faster uninterrupted browser experience and help of course to have this unwanted ads. So that's the reason why we are actually using this browser of Norton because it's for free and it can help us to navigate, uh, let's say in a very more secure way. So there you have it guys, which ad blocker are you currently using or planner to try out? Do you have any other tips for blocking ads? You can let us know the how into the comments below. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Express for more helpful tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we can all see you next time.